What's up guys, Sal here. So the Galaxy S10 is Samsung's 10th anniversary phone. It coincides with the popular meme these days, the 10 year challenge. And that's why you see Samsung making a lot of reference to this lately. They posted another teaser, which kind of gives you a history of the Galaxy S phones. Here's the full video. Battery life is one of the most important aspect of a phone. People want a phone that comfortably lasts all day with heavy usage without the need to plug it back again in the middle. It's a well-known fact that having a higher capacity battery doesn't necessarily mean that you'll get a better battery life. There are phones out there with 5000 mAh battery that hardly last a day of use. So it's very important for OEMs to optimize the battery so that it lasts longer. There's a reason iPhones have good battery life even with mediocre sized batteries. That's because Apple does a great job in the optimization of these batteries. And thankfully, the Galaxy S10 will also feature an excellent battery optimization as well. Samsung flagships are getting a bump in the capacity this year, and coupled with the newer, more energy efficient processors and battery optimization, you can expect the Galaxy S10 to last comfortably all day with moderate to heavy usage. He also says the S10 will have an advanced cooling system. The Note 9 has a water carbon cooling system that ensures the device doesn't overheat and can handle processor heavy tasks with ease. So it will be interesting to see whether Samsung has installed a new cooling system on the Galaxy S10 or just refined the current one on the Note 9. I'll surely keep you posted. So Samsung is replacing the plastic packaging with sustainable materials. Samsung officially said that from the first half of 2019, all phones, tablets, and home appliances will have new packaging made of eco-friendly materials. One important change here is that the charger is now going to be matte instead of glossy, thus eliminating the need for a protective film. This is a great move, Apple's already doing it, and I hope other companies follow this as well. Of course, that being said, Samsung will unveil the Galaxy S10 on February 20th, followed by a release on March 8th. Do consider subscribing for all the latest update on the Galaxy S10, and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.